Once our base structure is built, we can move to create the helipad. First, we can extend the base so that it could support the helipad, simply adding a protrusion. Then, we create the bridge that holds the helipad with a simple pull operation. Next, we create the helipad using a hexagonal shape as a base for the prism. And last, we can use a simple sketch and pull it along the perimeter of the helipad to create the safety protrusions. Let's move on to creating the helipad. Right-click on the base platform component and select Activate Component for Modeling. Select the base platform side located along the negative X direction and create a sketch plane on it. Select the rectangle tool, then click the top right corner of the platform as the starting point. Move the cursor towards the origin and create a rectangle that is 20 meters wide and with the same height as the thickness of the platform. Then use the pull tool to create a 20 meter protrusion. Right click the topmost component in the model tree and select activate component for modeling. Create a rectangular solid to be the bridge. Select the top face of the platform and create a sketch. Create a rectangle on top of the protrusion and make it 20 meters wide by 30 meters high. Switch back to 3D mode and use the pull tool to give this rectangular profile a height of 10 meters. Right click the new solid body and select move to new component and rename this component as bridge. Let's now sketch the helipad on top of the bridge. First, create a new component named helipad. For this, right click on the topmost component in the structure tree and click New Component. Rename it to Helipad. Click the Polygon tool and select the top face of the bridge. Using the Shift key, specify reference dimensions of 15 meters in the X direction and 10 meters in the Y direction from any of the corners to define the center of the polygon. Then move the mouse away. The numbers shown represent the diameter of the circumference inscribed within the polygon, the orientation angle, and the number of sides. Set 20 meters as the diameter and create a polygon with one of the two opposite edges laying on the edges of the bridge. Make sure that no parts of the hexagon lay outside the bridge. Start the pull tool and pull the sketch up 2 meters. Select the two side faces of the polygon that are parallel to the faces of the bridge. Then start a sketch. Reorient the model if necessary. Zoom into the helipad and start the line tool. Select any of the top corners of the polygon and create a line on the outer side with a length of 1.5 meters and an angle of 105 degrees. Switch back to 3D mode and select the Pull tool. Select the line, then click the Pull Direction tool guide and select any of the vertical edges of the polygon solid to define the pull direction. Now pull the line downward negative 0.25 meters. With the Pull tool activated, select the surface that we have just created. Select the Sweep option in the Pull menu and double-click any of the edges on the outer face of the polygon. If necessary, double-click the other adjacent edge until you've selected the loop along the top of the polygon face. Once this is done, click the full pull button to create the safety protrusions. Now, let's complete the helipad by putting the characteristic H on the top face. Select the top face and start a new sketch. Orient the view to the plan view and zoom in if necessary. Start the rectangle tool and select draw from center. Then select the center point of the helipad. Make the rectangle 2.5 meters high and 3.5 meters wide. Then deactivate the draw from center option and using the shift key set the starting point of the new sketch 
5 meters above the center of one of the vertical sides of the previous rectangle. Sketch a rectangle 3.25 meters wide and 10 meters high. Repeat the process on the other side to complete the letter H. Use the Trim Away tool to remove the lines in the center of the H and return to 3D mode. Select the H-shaped face and go to the Display tab and open the color feature in the Style menu. Set Target as Face and change the color of the face to yellow. The helipad is now completed. In the next part, we will complete the oil rig model by building the oil derrick.